Hi, I'm Lisa from Lecture Technology. Welcome to another how-to video for Autosys. This video shows you how to use web services to perform basic monitoring and control type services for Autosys. We are running CA Workload Automation Autosys Edition version R11 3.6 Service Pack 1. This Autosys instance is using CA Embedded Entitlements Manager, or EAM, for identification and authorization. During the installation of the Autosys server, we can choose to install the Autosys web server component, listening on port 9090. First of all, to be able to run web service queries, make sure that the user ID submitting these queries is member of the EAM group, Workload Automation AE Web Service. The user ID we will be using is called EAM User 1. You also need to make sure that the same user ID has access to the Autosys jobs and global variables to be accessed. To demonstrate the web services functionality, we will use the Postman REST client in the Chrome browser. Let's look at a few examples of using the Autosys web services interface. Using the Postman client, we enter the address of the Autosys web server and the web service. We already entered our user credentials and saved those as a header. Using the URL param section, we enter the filter parameters we would like to use in this case. Looking for job run information for jobs that have an application value of demo. We click on send on the Autosys web service, sends back the matching data which we can view as JSON or XML. Using the same method as our previous example, we use Postman to send our parameterized query to the Autosys web server. Here is the data that is returned. We can also query the Autosys web server for the global variable values, like this. We have seen a few examples of retrieving information using the Autosys Web Services interface. Now let's look at some of the examples of using the same interface to post actions to Autosys. Using the methods described earlier, we can use the Postman client to send a force start job event to the Autosys job. We are sending the job name in common in JSON format. If we check the Autosys job, we can see that the force start job event was received. In this example, we are placing an Autosys job on no exec status. The data being sent this time is in XML format. If we check the Autosys job, we can see that the job was placed on no exec status. In this example, we are setting the value of an Autosys global variable. The data being sent again is in XML format. If we check the global variable, we can see that its value was set. Using the Autosys Web Services interface, it is possible to write your own interface to perform basic monitoring and control type services for Autosys. Thank you for viewing this video. For more information, please email us at info at extratechnology.com or visit our website at www.extratechnology.com.